We're serving up barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese nachos here in the kitchen. Charlo, the chef, has stayed with us. Right, we had got the meat in the oven before the break. Now what? Hey, we're going to concentrate on getting the barbecue sauce on straight away. Beautiful. While that's reducing, <coughs> excuse me, while that's reducing, then we get them, we pull the pork. Okay, okay I'll just check these okay, nachos. Okay, no problem. So what you can do actually, sometimes you can sprinkle a few jalapenos over them. Oven's on. Pop Not them a in, big fan of the jalapenos now. Okay, we'll just uh, maybe do half, do half, and leave the other half there, and we'll try and, Very good. We'll try and look after your chef today, okay? Try and cater to all 300 tastes. milliliters of um, tomato ketchup in here. Want some tomatoes in here as well, chef? Uh, no, no, we'll hold no. off on the tomatoes for service. Just pop them into the oven, Simon, please. Gotcha. Okay, and what we're trying to do is we're going to try and toast the nachos. So this is, this is going to show you the best way to serve your nachos at home. Cool. So nacho shop bar, I mean, they're, they're 60 cent worth of nachos sitting on that tray, believe yeah, it or yeah. not, uh, into the oven. So tomato ketchup, we're going to make our barbecue sauce, concentrate on the barbecue sauce. Okay. So tomato ketchup, brown sugar. So uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar. We're going to put two, tables, tea, two, two teaspoons of uh, paprika. Okay. Okay, I'll just take it off for a second. We have red wine vinegar. Lovely. And that cuts through, gives you that acidy taste, okay? okay cuts red wine vinegar. Right. And then we're going to put on a dash of uh, Worcestershire sauce. I mean, all barbecue, homemade barbecue sauce have to have a Worcestershire sauce yeah. in it and soya sauce. Gives it that deep, rich colour, but it also gives it that, you know, that, sorry, you know, when you're making cottage pie at home and it, it doesn't taste flavor. the same without the yeah, Worcestershire sauce. Beautiful flavor. So we're putting in our um, soya sauce as well. Look at you can be as free flowing as you like. Maybe a rule of thumb, maybe two tablespoons of each. Back on the, back on the, on, on bring it up to a boil, okay? And then we we'll just simmer it out, okay? Simmer it out, and then what we will do is uh, we'll, uh, we'll then just coat the, the pulled pork, okay? okay? Fantastic, again, a fantastic sauce. So we let that simmer away. Mac and cheese, as we did in the first, Beautiful. first we made yeah. a Mornay sauce. I cooked off a little bit of uh, macaroni in some boiling water. Cheapest boiling chips water. Too. Cheapest chips yeah. as well. We pop that in. There's roughly around 150 to 200 grams here of mac, and this is it done, oh. okay? Season it, up, season it up to your taste, okay? Season it up to your taste, and there you have the perfect mac and cheese. Okay, and we have that cheese, so that's a really rich in flavour. Yeah, what I've done then, I just jumped ahead, and in the pestle mortar, you're asking me in the fourth segment about the pestle of mortar, and what uses can we do with it? Mm -hmm. Look at it, I've just had them mashing up a bit of guacamole, so okay. I put a nice ripe avocado, some garlic, lime juice, a little bit more lime juice, okay? And then I just literally bashed it up, okay? Yeah. Now you can spike that as well with tomatoes, with red onions, I was talking to Lisa earlier on, she puts tomatoes and red onions in hers, but yeah. it's fine. So bash it up, and look at it, if you can just see the nice vibrant uh, green colour, okay? Now to our party, piece or leave that button get the smell oh it's beautiful it's absolutely it's actually a magnificent smell isn't it yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. and you can smell you can smell the Worcester sauce can you get that you can yeah. get the sugar as well the sugar Sweet. yeah absolutely it's like a bourbon taste oh. Are you with me? I'm here I'm here brother <laughs> I'm right in okay, so, nowhere okay so <clears throat> as we said before that's this the star of the show the no, pork. Part, the pork okay so pull pork we rubbed it you done the rub for me which is so important um, put it, use, use the bones as the pivot, okay? Yeah. And then we put base it in cider. And this is our end product here. Look at that. So we have this chargol. It's actually like a dish of beautiness, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Isn't that just fantastic? Beautiful. Okay? There's a new word. A dish of beauty. <laughs> dish of beauty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out and we're going to put the juice in here. So you can get all the flavours locked in. But now you're enhancing Great. your barbecue sauce. So the flavours of that roll will exactly. your barbecue sauce. Exactly. Now what we'll do is, because this is nice and tender, again, we would have... Roasted this, yeah. 180, and three and a half to four hours. We'll use the meat as well off the uh, bones, bones, okay? Yeah. We can strip them down. Now, what we're gonna do here real quickly, Simon, is mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have a sieve, and I'm gonna put like half of this in, okay? Mm -hmm. So half of this goes in, all right? Okay. Now at home, the whole lot goes in, Yeah. all right? And then what we do is, you'll have more time to simmer it down. So we get this simmering down, leave this simmering down. This is going on nicely. Yeah. Now we take out our nachos. So nachos are nice and lightly toasted. We have our plate here, okay? okay. So we're putting our nachos onto our plate. Easy does it, okay? Yeah. Now if you just move the plate over there, it's nice sure. and gently. Gotcha. Our barbecue sauce is simmering down. Now here's the fun part. So fork there, Simon, please, okay? Now we're nice and tender. If you can see how tender this is, it's falling like it's off literally the bones, falling, right? So what we want to do is you want to start pulling it with your fork there, Simon, yeah. okay? And you just shred, what we're doing is we're shredding all the meat. Yeah. Okay. You can start that one there. Gotcha. And I'll start this one in the middle. Can you see that folks? So you wanna have you wanna have all your meat shredding. You see that? So easy. Okay. And what we're gonna do, while you're using your fork, but look at it so tender, I'm using the, the, the actual knife here. Okay. So we got all this, you see a full of flavour. And what we're gonna do now is Simon, we're just gonna pop it into our pan. Pop it into our pan with our barbecue sauce. Now, 
if you're like me, you get all, the, all your friends around, have a nice barbie in the back garden. This is what we do, okay? This is how we turn this dish into a sensational dish. So oh, look we, at coat, that. we coat all our pulled pork in our sticky barbecue sauce. We bring it over. Okay, Simon, actually, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna oh, let you. Oh, leave it there. I'm nervous, but. I'm gonna let you dish out the pulled pork okay. right in the top in the middle. Got okay. You. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drizzle the mac and cheese. I mean, this is just comfort food, bringing it to the next level. Okay, so we're gonna drizzle our, our mac and cheese. You see that, folks? Oh. And that's our creamy, our creamy, cheesy sauce. Hi, guys, I'm mac and cheese. You're looking for me. <laughs> Did you? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 What do you yeah. need me we're for? We're looking for a few tasters, really, to be honest <laughs> oh, with you. Well, Laura, I'll tell you what I you can do. I plenty of tasters. I can hear a stampede. What, you can, do, what, you, what you can do, Laura, is spot a few of those for colour, spot a few of the red tomatoes just around, around our, our nachos. Oh, lovely. Simon, a little okay. one, two, three, okay? We're gonna go one, two, three, and I'll fill, you in, I'll fill in the gaps, okay? Yeah. One, two. It's magnificent. Now, this is a really party piece of food, comfort so, food. Yeah. So this is food that... Um, mm. You can feel more jalapenos if you want. <laughs> My kids <laughs> always do. <laughs> <laughs> a little few uh, coriander on top. Charlie, that's sensational, I mean, man. Really it is. What can I say? You know? So would you like that's a taste? Done, oh, I think I'd like a taste, <laughs> yeah. I love the taste. Yeah. Are you getting in there? Thanks, I might grab a napkin there. I've got now, listen, don't forget, no problem. Charlie's recipe uh, will be up on our website. Up next, Devin Toner is here. We'll see you in a few minutes. Covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs>